Ever since I posted my video of how to get the hidden festive rewards, I've gotten tons of comments of people sad that they can't get the Halloween ones. What if I told you that you could still get all of these items, except for one, this one. I finished these duties almost two months ago, but lucky for you guys, I have an incredibly stubborn girlfriend, so I'm able to walk you through this today and prove to you that this still works. My girlfriend and I live together, so I hopped on her PC and we can see her super cool sunglasses here. I told her she should do these duties two months ago, and even this morning I was like, did you ever do those? And she said yes, and I said, mm, let me check. I also told her to do the festive ones, but we can see here that she hasn't done those either. She's spoiled, but she's not that spoiled. I'm not doing those. We'll start off with the easiest one, which is Villainy Wears Mini Masks. This one is super simple. Just go into your wardrobe and put on any mask. She has this mask from the Halloween Star Path. I think there was two masks in there, but if you don't have one, you're probably gonna have to wait until one appears in your shop. I've tried Googling, and I don't think you can craft one right now, but if someone knows the recipe, put it down in the comments. And the reward for this is the purple candy bucket. We gotta put her super cool sunglasses back on because I'm not trying to mess with her game. Next up, we're gonna do Trick or Treat and Sugar Rush because these ones kind of go together. I've seen a lot of misinformation online that Trick or Treat is just gifting 10 characters any item. As you can see here, that is not true. You need to gift them candy. I guess they're just like me and they think candy is the perfect gift. The reason we wanna work on Sugar Rush at the same time is because Sugar Rush is just eating 45 pieces of candy. It has three stages which is just 15 pieces at a time and each stage will give you a different jack-o-lantern. So basically what I'm saying is you need to cook 55 pieces of candy. The recipe for candy is just one of any sweet items, so sugarcane, vanilla, or cocoa bean. Sugarcane seeds are at the beach, you may need to upgrade your stall if you haven't. You can get cocoa beans off trees in either the Glade Trust or the Sunlit Plateau, and vanilla also grows in the Sunlit Plateau. You can always look at your collection if you don't know where something is. Obviously this process is a little bit painful when you're making 55 pieces of candy, so you can do it however you want. I personally love the autofill feature. I think this was a little bit easier if you did this actually during the Halloween event because there was a bunch of different candies on the ground, which I think is why there's a misconception that you can't do any of these anymore, but regular candy does work, it's just annoying to make. This is actually the same reason why you can't do the three course Halloween meal. That is the one duty that you cannot do and that's because that was to eat three different types of candy. Unless you have some sitting in your storage from the Halloween event, you can only craft regular candy. So unfortunately, unless they leave these in the game until next year and they bring back the candy again, you won't be able to do that one. I'm thinking they probably will bring it back because why else would they leave it just sitting there? But this is an early access game so who knows. Don't be too sad though because the reward for it is just that green bucket I showed in the beginning and you can totally still get the purple one. Once you craft your candies, however many you want to do at a time, just go around your valley and gift one to 10 different characters. Remember it has to be 10 different characters so if you already have one done from like a daily favorite gift or something randomly, that person will not count again. And once you do all 10, the reward is this Mickey Mouse pumpkin which in my opinion might be the cutest reward. For Sugar Rush, you literally can just spam eat those 45 candies, but you'll notice that when you eat like 10 to 15 of them, you'll get quite an energy boost. So if you're doing a bunch of stuff around your valley anyway, you might want to only eat like 10 at a time to take advantage of that. For example, I'm a huge shrimp for my girlfriend and she's spoiled, so I'm going to replant all of the sugar cane that I used to do this for her. So I'm going to eat like 15 at a time so I can use that energy to dig all these holes and plant that sugar cane. Whether you eat them one at a time or just spam all 45, it doesn't matter. You're going to end up with these same three jack-o-lanterns. This last one looks just like me. Don't worry, we are done with candy now and moving on to the last one that you can still do. Stockpiling pumpkins, which is exactly what it sounds like. My girlfriend actually does not have access to the Forgotten Land. She's currently grinding for it to start a pumpkin farm, so I'm gonna get off her computer. Stockpiling pumpkins is just planting 100 pumpkin seeds. This is like the best way to make money in the game, so you should be doing this regardless. The Forgotten Lands do take 15,000 Dreamlight to unlock and pumpkin seeds are kind of pricey. So unless you grind for it specifically, it's kind of more of a late game thing. Thing. Each pumpkin seed is 275 coins, so you'll need a little bit less than 28,000 to plant 100. But if you're new to this, don't stress out because they sell for like three times the price, so like I said, it's the best way to make money and that's why I have 2 million coins. Once you plant 100 of those seeds, the reward will be this really cute triple pumpkin stack in the middle. And I think that covers it. That should be everything that you need to know about how to get the hidden Halloween reward still. Feel free to drop any other information down in the comments and make sure to drop a like on this video if this did help you out. If you have not gotten the new hidden festive rewards. I'll put my video for those on the screen right here. You can check out my channel for more guides and make sure to subscribe if you're new for more Disney Dreamlight content. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a really good rest of your day.